Well, there is always a special buzz on the opening day of any cup competition. The first and only time when all teams, regardless of stature, history, reputation, start from the same position. Everybody can have the same hopes, everybody the same dreams. This could be our year, we're going to do it again, it will be us at last. Those are the sorts of things we hear year on year. Hardly a surprise then that everybody is raring to go. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. And so we stand for the anthems. Well, they have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. So a strong start, essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely. And you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. So it's away we go then. Forward, what does he try from here? Driving on, a real charge here. He can get that clear. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Oh, goes for goal! Big moment! Massive goal! What a start! And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Terrible error, duly punished. Norway have an early lead, good start. Well, that's where he wants it. Not quite. Gets into the right position to intercept. And it's played forward. Dangerous looking ball. And it's come to nothing. Forward it goes. the through ball and the finish really well taken goal and already they're looking to run away with it he was urged to shoot and he duly delivered and that's what the game is all about find space and finish but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out Things starting to look very comfortable. 
We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Lord Pike positions himself well and cuts it out. Tries a shot! And the keeper's relieved to see that disappear wide. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Chance! Shoots! And it's there! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. <laughs> Norway take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Gets it back. to win it back and he ran himself into trouble there free kick given away gets it upfield cuts it out to locate someone up front. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. It's being played forward. And the whistle goes for half-time. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but for excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Norway are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. So we're just settling back into this second half. Changes made by neither side from what we understand. Corner it is. Off target and by quite a way. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. It is good for it! I think that's offside. Yes, it is. It's got through to him, chance to sh chance! He scores! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. 
He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's looked a threat. Norway tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Hoists it forward. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. And it's played forward. Just starting to get the first signs of rain here. And it's Johansson. Johansson! And he steered it beyond the post. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. It's come loose. Just brushed off the ball there. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. <laughs> oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. He's had that put on a plate. And the shot! And another time! He's put it wide. I think he deserves credit for, for getting something away, given that he had to contend with a, a double dose of closing down. Johansson. Throw in. And that has put paid to that. Goes down, but nothing given. And to a minimum of four minutes additional time. Gets away from his opponent. He's tried one. Put out the best in the keeper. And that will be the final act. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying to the rest of the group, we're intent on staying at the top. On this evidence, I think there's every chance too.